I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. We still don't know when we'll get the final decision on Hinkley Point C. There had been speculation that the sign-off of the money for a new nuclear power station would happen during the Chinese Premier's visit to the UK later this month. That's not looking so certain now. Uh, But today, Somerset's playing host to a French politician who's described the project as an industrial and financial disaster. Fair to say, he's not a fan. Denis Bopin has been invited by the South West Green MEP, Molly Scott Cato. Morning, Molly. Hello. You're calling this a crisis meeting. Yes, I think we really do face a crisis over the plans for Hinkley because... Basically, there's a lot of risks involved in them. As Denise says, there's the technological risk. There's also the risk that the Chinese finance might not come through. And there's also this question of whether we really want the Chinese general nuclear company, which makes China's nuclear weapons and is run by the Chinese Communist Party, being responsible for our energy supply in the UK. Trying to scare people. Well, I don't think it's scaring people. I think it's looking seriously at our energy future. I mean, I think we should know which companies will be building a power station 13 miles downwind from where I live. You know, I'm, I'm concerned to know about that. But we're all and- grown-ups, aren't we? Can you, you, you don't truly believe that by letting Chinese investment into the energy future of this country, we are, are putting ourselves at risk? I'm sorry, I am a grown-up, and it's for that reason that I'm concerned about having a company that's controlled by the Chinese Communist Party being responsible for our energy security. I think that's a grown-up concern, and I'm rather concerned that other people aren't taking that seriously, quite honestly. You think our government aren't taking it seriously? I think our government is very much focused on trying to get Chinese finance into the city. I think their focus is the city rather than what happens in the real economy and I think it's a tragedy that they're undermining the really fantastic renewable resources we've got in the southwest so that they can serve their friends in the city and make sure that Chinese money comes to London rather than Frankfurt. I don't think we should be sacrificed for that particular interest group. You've been outspoken about your criticisms of Hinkley C for for some time, but EDF and the government, as far as we are aware, are still backing the project. So what will what you're doing today, what difference would that make? There are so many people now coming out and saying this plan just doesn't make sense, that it doesn't make financial sense. I mean, we've had this from the Financial Times, we've had it from Bloomberg. We're not even focusing now on the health concerns and the the issue of what to do with the toxic waste and just the terrorist risks of having a power station there. We're actually focusing on the business case, the fact that this electricity will be so expensive it will undermine British businesses, the fact that we won't get energy before the middle of the, the 2020s, which means that we're going to be left with an energy gap. There are so many things wrong with this plan and so many people saying it that we just need to keep that pressure up and then we think we'll be able to stop the plan from going ahead. You mentioned the energy gap but if Hinkley C doesn't go ahead there'll be a way bigger gap than the one you're talking about. Well that's exactly the point because the power stations on this model that have been designed for France and Finland are both like a decade behind schedules but what we can do to fill that gap is develop our renewable resources so we need not only the change in government policy so they stop attacking renewables but we also need people to invest in renewables themselves then we can take control of our own electricity supply and we have great opportunity to do that in the west country where we've got wind and solar and marine resources and we could really have our own energy which would be an enormous economic boost for rural areas just like they're seeing in Germany and Denmark. If it was that easy then why aren't the government doing that? Because the government's focus is on what happens in the city rather than what happens in the real economy and I'm afraid they've got energy policy completely wrong and they're thinking of keeping it in the same old way with control by a small number of vested interests and elite companies whereas you know other countries in Europe are having a complete energy revolution where local communities own their own generation and we need to claim that ourselves in the west country because it would just be a wonderful thing for our economy and i just hope whatever happens over the decision with hinkley people will commit to renewables and they will commit to ownership of community renewables because it's like it's the energy revolution and you know we can have that power in our own hands there will be people listening this morning that are itching for the go-ahead to Hinkley C because there'll be businesses primed to have secure work for many years to come. There'll be people waiting uh, to take up jobs uh, for the construction and then the future operation of it. Uh, there are some people this morning listening who, who can't wait for this to happen. What would you say to them? I would say to them that they need to look carefully at what the, energy, uh, what the job offer really is with Hinkley because 
we, we're likely to see the best paid jobs actually going to Chinese and French workers. And really? Yeah, really, because we just don't have the skills anymore in this country. And you, those, you, you have evidence of that, or are you just speculating? I'm not really speculating, no. If you look at the plans, you see that the, com- well, the, the control of the plant will be in the hands of French and Chinese companies, and we don't have the skilled workers in Britain, um, in most cases, to actually construct the plant, and the number of jobs once the plant is running is very low. There are at least four times as many jobs um, associated with renewable generation per kilowatt hour than there are with nuclear. So if people are interested in jobs, again, this is a reason to to not support the nuclear plans, but to go with renewables, which are far better for the local economy and far better for job creation. Thank you for your time, Molly. Southwest Green MEP Molly Scott Cato there.